you know what, I think I'm going to win. I don't want to beat him this way. I'm just saying, in my opinion, and you've already seen it, the Democrats are going to bring a lawsuit. If it's Ted, the Democrats are going to bring a lawsuit. He's got to have this thing worked out. Honestly, do you have any doubts that Ted Cruz is a natural-born American? I don't know. I really don't know. It depends. Does natural born mean born to the land, meaning born on the land? In that case, he's not. But nobody knows what it means. I'm only saying that Ted has to get this problem solved. Because if he's running against a Democrat and they bring a lawsuit, he's got a hell of a thing over his head. All right. Joining us now is John Sununu, former governor of the state of New Hampshire, former chief of staff to George H.W. Bush and author of The Quiet Man. Um, hello, Governor. How are you? Happy New Year, sir. Happy New Year, Steve. How are you? I'm fine. All right. But before we get to uh, what Donald Trump said about you at a rally, let me ask you uh, to comment on what he said to, to uh, Chris Wallace about Sununu. By the way, the new polls you know, show that uh, uh, they're uh, neck and neck in Iowa now. Trump has closed the gap, and Trump has a huge lead in New Hampshire. But let's talk about what you just heard him say, and uh, he thinks he could win. Well, I think uh, Trump is out trying to knock anybody who's... Uh, nipping at his tails, and I, th tails, and I think uh, uh, he's picking on Cruz with something that he's just trying to stir up the pot. I think Cruz is fine. Okay. At a, uh, at a uh, speech uh, recently, Donald Trump, um, at the, the end of the uh, speech or in the middle of the speech, uh, he said uh, about you, Sununu is such a dumb guy, he was fired like a dog uh, by President George H.W. Bush. Uh, Sununu, uh, you know, that's what he said, basically, that you're a dumb guy and you look, were fired like a dog. How do you respond to that? Look how funny. That's, that's funny coming from a guy who's got four major billion-dollar bankruptcies. Uh, he screwed his stockholders. The bankers uh, put him into bankruptcy. They say, Donald Trump, you're fired. You're fired like a beggar. To use his words, they fired him like a dog. And, and he downplays these, but, but these are four major billion dollar, multi-billion dollar bankruptcies. And uh, I, I think it's funny that, that he's, he's referring to anybody else's uh, situation. I did not, by the way, get fired by the president. Uh, I moved on because I wanted the lightning to follow me out. Uh, look, Trump's got problems. Uh, he's, he's doing very well with his hot rhetoric, uh, but the guy has no substance, he has no plan, he's all mouth. Uh, he, he's thin-skinned. Uh, Putin proved that he, it, Trump likes to brag that he can't be bought because he's so rich. Putin proved that he's the cheapest buy in politics today. With 10 cents worth of flattery, uh, Putin had him sucking up all the way. And, and so th this is a guy that you can't put in as commander-in-chief. All right. Let me ask you, though, about, uh, about Iowa, where we are. According to the new uh, poll, uh, you have uh, him closing the gap on Ted Cruz. Can Donald Trump, will Donald Trump win Iowa? I don't know. I, uh, Iowa is a very difficult state to predict. I think Ted Cruz will hold it out there. And I think when Trump comes into town and the New Hampshire voters do what I hope they always do, and that starts looking at substance, uh, they'll see that, that Trump is no, no conservative. Uh, all his life he's been a lefty liberal. He supports Obamacare. He's all for uh, eminent domain. Uh, he has told us he's very pro-life, even on immigration, Steve. This guy has been a lifelong liberal on immigration, and now he's a conservative all of a sudden. He criticized Mitt Romney for being tough on immigration and said that Mitt Romney was going to lose the Latino vote because he was so tough on immigration. This guy's a phony. And I think the, the voters, I hope the voters, will begin to see that. All right, let's talk about New Hampshire, uh, of course, a state you're very familiar with. Uh, you know, we have a situation there where Trump is, uh, has, has a huge lead. But I want to uh, ask you about uh, John Kasich. Are you supporting Kasich? And whether or not you no. are, okay. But he, is, he has shown uh, quite an increase, uh, uh, I believe, tied for second uh, place in the latest poll that I saw. Yeah, my son is supporting Kasich. I think you have about... Uh, you have four or five bunched together. Uh, you have, you've got the three governors, the Christie, uh, Jeb Bush, you've got Kasich, and I think you have Rubio in there bunched. Uh, uh, and I think they're all vying for second and third. I think first, second, and third out of New Hampshire are the important places moving forward. And, and uh, I just hope the voters here start paying attention to the issues that they really care about instead of the hot rhetoric. 
All right. Now, when it comes to, uh, to, to Hillary Clinton, uh, it's a funny thing happened. Head-to-head uh, -head matchups in the end, latest NBC News poll shows that uh, Hillary, for the most part, loses to all the candidates. And Bernie Sanders beats all the Republican candidates in Iowa and in New Hampshire. How do you explain that? Well, uh, this is sorting out time. You know, Hillary uh, comes into New Hampshire in about the same position she came. If she loses uh, Iowa, she'll come in about the same position that she came uh, against Barack Obama, uh, and somehow they've got a good, she has a history of a good ground game here and a good set of relationships. Uh, I wouldn't count Hillary out no matter what the polls say. Uh, she's always been able to, the Clintons have always been able to surprise in New Hampshire. All right, and any, uh, any interest in the expanded FBI investigation now apparently going into yeah. the Clinton Foundation? I mean, uh, you know, here's a, woman who, here's a woman who's under FBI uh, investigation for months and they just expanded the investigation and nobody talks about it in the media yeah she's uh, she she this is getting hot and heavy for her uh, it, in a way it's almost a test of the integrity of the Justice Department under Barack Obama because frankly all the information I hear from people who who have friends in the system is that there is tremendous pressure within the FBI and the Justice Department to move this thing forward aggressively and uh, they're beginning to complain about uh, uh, the Obama administration trying to slow things yep. down. She has a problem. Governor, and I, I was going to say I appreciate that. Always great to talk to you, sir. Thank you, Steve. A and we'll speak to you soon. John Sununu, ladies and gentlemen, here on the uh, Steve Malsberg Show. We're coming back with much, much more, so don't go away.